So, yo, we were on a roll today, yo. I was designing shirts. I made a logo for my son's grandpa. He has a little fitness company. Not a little. He has a fitness company that he's trying to build. And I was going to make him some t-shirts. I was going to make a bulk of t-shirts today, but the power went out. And right now it is... It's 111, yo! That means I'm supposed to be doing this right now. Yo, the power has been out since 10, right? We got ordered chinos and everything. And right now, in this moment in time, I was like, we should just vlog this right now. And I just looked at the time and it was 101. Why, yo? That means we're supposed to be doing this. Crazy! Anywho, the power went out at 10. And we done ate Chinese food. We read through some magazines. I can't work on my computers. Took a couple of like little short videos. Nothing crazy, but this is just what we doing. Oh look, this is what I wanted to show y'all. This just came in the mail, so I'm gonna try it out. All right, superstar. <laughs> Where you at? Hey. This just came in the mail. Can you see this? There we go. It's Gabriel Union's Flawless, and it is for the edges. It's supposed to repair, replenish, and all that extra stuff. I'm gonna try because I've been using Cantu for, I think, I wanna say like since January, and yo, my edges have been like ripped out, seriously. So I'm like, oh my God, my hair's been falling out. Is it postpartum? My son is one years old now. Is postpartum even still a thing at this, at the, at this moment? So, I was asking all these questions. I'm all worried, but I lost a lot of hair. My doctor gonna go say, it's because I'm, uh, not my doctor, my hairstylist. She was like, oh, girls, because you're getting old. I'm like, I'm 29. I'm holding on to my 20s for dear life. But, anywho, I don't think it's old age. Mikla just running around rampant. He took a nap and everything. Yeah, what you wanna say, pop up? Yeah. How you feel about this outage? It's messing with your Sesame Street time, huh? It's messing with your Sesame Street time, right? Exactly. And now my mom Bochi trying to whip my brother. Well, at least it'll, at least it'll be taken out of your... Yeah, at least it'll be taken out of your... Oh, whatever. I'm not gonna follow them. But yeah, this is what we doing. You know, I'm really not surprised because Mercury just went into retrograde yesterday and that messes with all of the electronics. And this is definitely the start. Yo, look, yo, if you know me, you know I have so much hair. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna let y'all know how that works. Actually, let's apply it right now. So, since we ain't got much to do right now, Nene, get out of here. I got this big old mirror here. Oh, come on. You don't even want to be up that close. You don't want to know what's up in there. You don't want to know. Can you see me? Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, I haven't really been posting much for the past year. Yeah. Smells like nothing really. But then again, yo, I had COVID in December and it really messed up my smell and my taste. Like, I don't be tasting things the way I know that they taste because I love taste. My, my mom will cook and she'd be like, what do you taste, Samantha? And so I don't really taste, like the flavors ain't really flavoring anymore, you know what I'm saying? And the smells ain't really hitting anymore. And I'm a woman who likes to smell good. I like to smell things. I like people who smell good. You know. Alright, let's see how this shit goes. Well, it's definitely slicking back. It's slicking, okay? Look at that. Ew, yo, my look crazy. Anyway, it's slicking back. <laughs> Let's just see if it tears it out, or if it truly does repair and replenish like the bottle says. I got faith in you. Hey! Hey! No! Oh, 
I'm about to start the beatings. No, I'm not gonna beat my son. Yo, growing up, I got beat all the time, and I'm not even kidding. Like, my mom laughs about it now, and I'm like, Bob, like, y'all really used to go in on us, her and my wella. My wella was old school, though. She, like, she really hurt my, my freaking feelings, yo, because she, she used to make us go into, my hair looks so crazy, she used to make us go into the yard and pick up a stick, like a, yeah, like a, a fucking tree branch. And then she would, we would bring it back in, and she would braid it, and then she would whoop our butts with it. And then my mom would come later on in the day and be like, you did what? And then whip us again. So yes, we genuinely did get, Papa's was like nothing to play with back in my day. So, I want to be able to talk to my boy. Oh my God, yo, I cannot believe I have like no, like no edges. But anyway, I don't even know what this video is about at this point. I'm just talking to y'all. But I stopped. I really had to take a break with the videos, not like I was posting all the time anyway, but I really had to take a break because it, well, my pregnancy wasn't the best. I mean, I don't know much about what the heck went on, but it just wasn't the best scenario that a lovely young lady such as myself <laughs> could have gone through. So I was already, you know, going through my own crap with that. And then, like, when I gave birth, I just, like, was, I can tell you what it was. Now that I've done reflected and, like, you know, thought about what that went down, when I gave birth, I really just wanted to, like, get back to whatever I was doing pre-birth, which was, like, doing my own thing and creating a lot of content and networking and, you know, doing stuff that I really like to do. And so when I gave birth, I felt like when I was pregnant, I, I was like so limited. And there was like, there was one post that I made when I was six months pregnant. And I really had like a revelation in the beginning beginning of January. And I was about six months, six, six months pregnant with my boy. And it was that my son is not the problem. Cause I had, I felt like I had so many problems, but he wasn't it. If anything, he was, he was gonna be the, the one thing that brought me light again. And so I had a bunch of epiphanies. So when I gave birth, I really wanted to go back to doing this and doing that and doing other things that I love to do because I, I was mobile again. You know what I mean? I, I was really, when I was going through my, when I was pregnant with Miklo, I was, you know, I had low iron. So I was in and out of the hospital. And then, you know, like I said, I was having my own personal issues, which by the way, this John did slick back and it's not too heavy. Like the Cantu John was just like really, it was really ripping my, my edges out for real. So this feels a lot softer already. Um, I feel a lot better in it already. With it already, excuse me. So I'll let y'all know. I'm going to start doing the clove thing too because I want my hair back. First of all, I know I'm keep going all over the place, but I have so much to talk about because I really talk to people like in real life. And I'm just so happy to be posting again, to like be doing videos again. And let me back up because you don't want to be all up in that. I already told you. I already told you. You want to? You don't want to be all up in that. But um, I forgot where I left off because I'm all over the place. Look at this one being already wild. Oh look, now you want to turn your head. Whatever. Anyway. So what the heck was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, 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 yeah. So when I gave birth, I really wanted to just like hit hard everything that I was doing before. Like, you know, doing my shoots and like I said, doing my, just doing my thing. And I really, I really wasn't, I really wasn't respecting time. Like the concept of time. I wasn't respecting my body who was screaming out for rest, you know, I wasn't respecting this new woman who was trying to emerge because I'm a mother now, you know what I mean? Like it's a whole different ball game. I can't take my son with me, you know, everywhere I go. I can't take him to all my networking events, you know, like I really had to transform my life and I wasn't, not that I wasn't ready to face that, but I just wanted to bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. You know what I mean? And I think I allowed a lot of outside influences to make me think that way. And that's where I really started to become aware of my thoughts and really understand that I was applying pressure on myself. You know what I mean? Like I didn't need the journey that I am on. It was no one else's but my own. And now 
hours. Right, Bucky? Right. <laughs> Let me see. Can you see him back there? Right, Bucky? Yes. You know, so I really wasn't respecting my timeline. So in December, when I got COVID and I brought it home to my son, I was, it was just like, I felt like life was forcing me to stand still. You know what I mean? It was like, listen, you need time to just chill. You know, so I'm going to plague you with the sickness that you dipped and dodged for a year and a half. Because <laughs> it started in March 2022. I didn't get it to December. I mean, excuse me, March 2020. I didn't get it to December 2021. So I dodged it for a good year and a half. But when I got it and my son got it, it was just like... I was forced to be. I was forced to just be. You know? And um, I think November was like the last time that I really posted anything. And I was like, I'm really just going to give myself time to truly, truly recuperate and heal from all of the things that just took place. You know, because I didn't, like I said, I didn't give myself that time. I wanted to be on go, but I needed to sit and really be with the person who was trying to evolve. And I did that. And I'm so happy that I did take that time to form a relationship with my son, a true bond. You know, to build a routine that works for him and I, that works for my mental sanity and that works for our relationship. Cause I'm a single mom and it can get hard, but see that little boy back there? It's not about me anymore. It's all about him. So, I picked up a part-time, which is like bleeding into full-time, but still on the line of part-time. I picked that up. It's in healthcare, and I work with, um, it's in healthcare, and I work with people who, you know, are dealing with their things, primarily mental health and addiction, and I've just been seeing a lot, you know, and I've been relearning aspects of life and people's journeys and humanity and how we all connect as one and you know I've been inspired to do this again to go online and to tell stories and to you know just speak my truth you know I feel like there was a there was a point in time where I really wanted to be another person because I was so upset with who I have become and that's where the other name came from, Easy K, Itana Ziokova, whatever. But the fuck out of here, yo. I'm, I still want to go by that. If you want to call me Itana, ta bien. If you want to call me Samantha, ta bien. Both of them are me. I am them. I am her. So I have no shame in what I, in my journey and what I've done and what I've been through. And I pray that everyone can find that type of redemption for themselves where they can go through some stuff and allow their souls and their spirits to learn the lesson in them and move forward with grace because that's what this journey is all about the human experience you know it's all about learning lessons and yeah i feel like i just have so much to talk about but that one just really took me back into the rabbit hole <laughs> so what time is it now Let's see. It's 125 and the power is still out. So when the power comes back on, we will show you what we get into. But as of right now, we're just rocking and rolling, chilling. I'm about to look at these magazines, make another vision board. I make a vision board every six months to set the goals. Do I always meet the goals on that vision board? Not always, but that doesn't mean they will not be accomplished in due time. My titi just got me a ring and I just put it on and I washed my hands. It's not on my hand now. I'm, I'm really horrible, excuse me, horrible, bad with jewelry. That's why I don't really wear jewelry. Like I lose it like one, two, three. These, however, these are my Wella's earrings and I never lose these. I will never lose them. They're so special to me. I keep them on my altar and um, 
Yeah. So, all right, I'm going to stop talking for now. I'm probably going to hop back on later, but this season two of Easy K TV, I guess, if you would like to call it, um, I think we're just going to change everything up. I'm just going to change everything because I want to start living more true now. Like, not that, not, what I mean by more true is, what I mean is I want to put content out there that is a direct reflection of my true self. Not what I think people want, not what I think people will gravitate to because the content that I put out there, if I stay true to me, then I'm going to gravitate. I mean, I'm going to attract people that fuck with people like me. You know what I mean? So I've decided to stop chasing y'all. And if you vibe with me, then you're going to be attracted to me. And that's how we're going to move. Oh my God, look at this mess he just made. And that's how we're going to move moving forward. We are attracting everything. And that's how I was moving before. Like in my early 20s, I was really just like attracting everything to me. And then I got so caught up with, I want to say like my mid 20s. And I got so fucking caught up with what people want and, 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 and like what people were expecting out of me. And then I got flustered and, 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 and I really lost my weight. And now that I'm 29, I just feel like I'm really back at the beginning. But so much had to transpire for me to truly learn those lessons. And even a freaking kid came out of it. A freaking kid came out of it. Yo, the reason why I'm saying that is because I was always that friend or that person or that chick that was always like I'm never gonna have any kids I don't want any kids I want to be solo for the rest of my life I don't need no man eh, eh, eh. and look at me single mom in it out which by the way I do believe is some type of generational curse because like all of the women in my family are single moms what the heck what the heck is up with that are we just maybe we're just all a bunch of pendejas which no we're not no we're not no we're not <laughs> But that was a challenge all on my own because I really wanted like to be married. Uh, although I never, I never really grew up thinking of a marriage. Like even like even now, now in my life, I'm like I don't even know if I believe in marriage anymore because I see a lot of marriages and I'm like I don't really think they're truly happy. Look, this is the ring that my Didi got me for Mother's Day. Why is this John not focusing? Whatever. Anyway, I could seriously talk all freaking day. I'm going to start like a tarot channel. I think this whole channel is going to be freaking changed around to meet mommy and me or meet Glow and Mama because he's just such a big part of my life. It's not even funny. Like one day I'll post something up. I'll just do a whole session about me writing about what he's done for me and my spirit and my life and my mind and me as a woman and just the way that I view my interactions with people like yeah I'm a mother now bro like he just changed my view on everything so one day I'll rant about that 17 minutes of me just straight ranting oh my god yo if people actually watch this yo y'all really fuck with me and I'm gonna try and stop cursing because I'm a mom now you know what I mean I'm really gonna try and cut that short but yeah, that's I'm gonna just cut it right here because if not, I'm gonna keep going. Mira, yo puedo hablar por for hours and hours and hours. Okay, so let me stop. Okay, okay, stop for now. But the power is out. That's what I'm saying. Like, what am I gonna do? Just sit here and total my thumbs? Like, the power's out. I'm just gonna go play with me, Glow. All right, bye, y'all. I mean, just hold that thought for now because the day is not done. It's only, it's only like 1:30 at this point. You know, we got 24 hours of seas, baby. So we back with a hit or a miss. Let me open this window because it's like kind of toasty in this joint. So we back and the power went on at about 3.45, came back on at about 3.45, went out at 10 a.m. So we've been all day without power. I had a phone call at 2.30 and we rescheduled for tomorrow because I told her straight up, I was like, listen, we ain't got no power. I don't know when it's gonna come back on. So say all of the important things that you need to say before my phone dies and I have no way of charging it back up. And he was like, oh, well, we can reschedule for tomorrow. I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. So there goes that. Oh, I wasn't able to create anything. Well, actually, I lied because last time uh, that I left off, I was like, I don't even know what we're going to do. The power's out. So we actually went out back and we took some pictures. And then this battery camera died. And uh, I got a chance to recharge a little bit of it. But I love these Polaroids, though. That was one pic we took. This is another one. So freaking cute. Um, took some in the back. Try to do some like cute photo ops. These are some other ones, not from today. This is from April the 19th. 
yes, don't make fun of my son, but for his birthday, my brother got him a helmet. It's like a cotton helmet that he walks around with when he's not in his walker because he be cracking his head on every on every surface. So my mom's like, oh, it's okay. One more and then I'll let it go. Love these Polaroids. Love, 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 love them. So anyway, we did some outside today. They came out super cute, messing around with the settings. So now I know what setting to put it on when we're outside. And I totally remember that I have audio equipment now. So I'm going to start using them in my vlogs. Clip them up right here so you can hear me nice and clear. And we can stop using this Sony audio. I will say this. Although the past year I haven't really been posting things like like for you all to see i've definitely been working like like my skill set have exp has expanded i invested into a lot of machinery and material so so i've been doing a lot of a lot of stuff behind the scenes and i like i told myself even though like i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna broadcast what it is that i'm working on but i'm also not gonna stop building my skills like it was more of a year of of silence and rejuvenation and just collecting myself and just accepting accepting what it what it was you know and not that not that i was i mean i was i was very resistant to my life change but it doesn't mean i'm upset with it it just means it was a change and i'm a Taurus, and we're a fixed side and you know and it's like change no so so anyway i want to show y'all really quick what some of the stuff I have here so this is like my little workspace here at my house this is my computer this is a sublimation mug I just started sublimating mugs so uh, you know what damn I gave them away just started sublimating mugs this is sublimation ready got this from Michael so just gonna do uh, a test on that joint here are my tags that I made for my clothing I got a tagger up in here. Here are my vinyls for my Cricut machine. These are like, you know, my iron-ons or my stick my stick-ons. This is also my frames for my photography and just a bunch of stuff. Some more Cricut shit. This is the my Cricut machine where I make a lot of my t-shirts, my cut designs and all that good stuff. This is like, you know, my I always have an inspirational space no wherever, wherever I go. This is this is supposed to be my my son's changing station, but I have my studio, my room, and my son's room all in one. I guess I do need to move and get my own space already. I truly understand that. I'm working on it, but hopefully before the end of this year, I will have my own space. This is a vision board. I make a vision board every six months. The other one is up there. Can you see that? So that one is the one that I made first, and it's coming full circle. So that's the one that I made last July. And then I made this one like beginning of this year. And then I have another one coming up uh, June, July. So I just got some more magazines. Gonna get started on that. This is like where all of my creative stuff is. Oops, let me put this away because y'all not supposed to be saying it. Yikes. So here are like some totes, tote bags that I can decorate. This is actually like the trapa that I'm gonna put for, that I use for my tarot readings. These are candles that I'm gonna start decorating. I got more in the closet. Here are some jars. These are the plastics that I'm gonna start packaging my shirts. This is, so this was so freaking cute. This is save the dates that I did for my coworker. They're magnets. We went into the wilderness. I was falling into the water and everything to, to take these save the date photos. And then I threw it into Photoshop and just made some save the dates and then made them into magnets. So this is another thing that we're gonna start pushing. Here are some athletic tees that I am testing on. This is my first sublimated shirt that I have ever made and I don't want to get rid of it, although it is pretty crappy because you see how unstable it was. I don't want to get rid of it, so I am keeping it. Here are some plates that I can that I can decorate. So this is just like all of my all of my like testing station and holding all of my items. Here are some more Cricut materials. Um, these are more iron-ons and vinyls and all that good stuff. These t-shirt bulks that just came in. And this is my t-shirt press that just came in. Um, this does the mugs, hats, t-shirts, and plates. So I'm really excited. I used it once already. It came out beautifully. I pressed some mugs. They came out really, really dope. So just ordered a bulk. Going to start you know packaging and making them and it took me a lot of time yo it took me so much time to perfect items you know what i mean excuse me i'm burping because i just ate some chocolate you know i'm a sucker for chocolate 
Excuse me, it took me a lot of time to like... <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Sir! He's the inspiration for everything, so he's really like... He's really the, the star of the show. Oh look, this is like... This is a sweater that I that I screwed up. I left the iron on it for way too long. Started off with an iron and finally got the t-shirt pressed, but... This one, like, oh my god, I burned it to a crisp, and I spent like seven bucks on this sweater, and I was like, ah, oh, I just ruined it, but whatever. You gotta spend money to make money, right? The goal is to make money, make money, make money, make money. But anyway, oh, I didn't even show you the stuff over here. So this is, I mean, it's really nothing to the, to the naked eye, but these are like the different type of papers that I use. Like sublimation papers, your labels, printing stuff. If I ever wanted to print on t-shirts for like darker t-shirts, I have a special type of paper for that too. I print out pictures in here as well. This is a backdrop. Um, I'm really, really excited to talk about things that I love to do. This is an inkjet printer. I might invest into a new one. Shout out Emmy, who I'm just going to say got that for us. <laughs> Uh, this is oh my god I'm just so congested up in here but you know what it's all good because we still making it work that's what I'm saying yo like people be like oh I don't got this and I don't got that and I'm just like yo I really like don't have much and I'm making it work like I don't want to hear you I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it I wonder if my mom can hear me because I know she's sitting in the yard mom can you hear me I think she can, but she's just not saying anything. Cause she's sitting in the yard, and I think she's sitting like right there. And I don't even want to show you that, but anywho. So yeah, that's one day, not even one day, maybe like tomorrow, so um, I'll show you the process of how I like put it in design, and then put it in the machine, and then put it on the thing, put it on the press, and then package it, and then tag it, and then I'll show you like the whole process of how I make sure to know that, or just make like or just make items. Oh, let me show you these candles that I just started doing and I think they're so freaking sweet. Oh my gosh, I love them. So, I just started making memorial candles and I know they're not for everyone because I know not everyone is into like spirituality or even just lighting candles in memory of people and that's totally okay, but I am. And for those people who are, I just started making memorial candles for, you know, people who have passed. Just dedicated candles, light them in their honor. And then when they're done, like when you lit the candle all the way to the end, you could just stick a t like a piece of tissue paper in there and just have it for memor memorabilia or like keep it on your ofrenda. Can you see this? So this is two that I made for my abuela. Her name is Vidalina Padilla and if you know me then you certainly know about her because she was such a huge influence in my life. <sighs> oh yeah. I'm gonna end this right here because now I'll talk it off. This is going to be like a 30 minute vlog and I've never made a 30 minute vlog before. Usually I think the most was like 22 minutes and that was like the first, first, first vlog that I ever put out with my mom. We went out to the gallery. But I'm just like really excited to talk. I haven't been like, you know, I haven't really been in like communication with the world. So yeah, it's just really nice to talk. And I really want to showcase the journey of being a single mom who's taking care of her son who's starting her own business and who's working a part-time slash full-time job in healthcare. Like, I need you guys to know, like, it's possible. One, two, it's gonna take a lot of work. And three, you need to know the journey. Because I feel like a lot of people just think that I, that, that I just got it. And sometimes I feel like I don't. You know, sometimes I'm like, I don't got this. I don't got this. And then other days, I'm like, I got this, you know? So, I'm praying that you have it. I know that you do. And... Don't stop believing in yourself. I have a list, a list of self-affirmations that I say to myself. Two that I would say to you in this moment in time are... I am courageous. I am ready to act and face my fears. That's a big one. I say that a lot. Uh, another one is... That I would say to you in this moment in time. Today I abandon my old habits and take up new more patient ones because I feel like a lot of my habits really stem in gotta get it gotta get it right now in this moment and it just don't need to be like that look at this freaking old lady creeping on me <laughs> looking like Saul <laughs> scared the crap out of me thinking I'm seeing yes. <laughs> first of all those three What's that? my kisses I took my pink ones and gave me blue ones <laughs> Yo, I thought a, a freaking spirit just wandered into my, my room. 
Oh my God. All right, on that note, bye y'all. Bless your home, bless your space. <laughs> bye. I'm gonna try and squeeze this in really, 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 really quick because my battery is about to die and I completely forgot because my mom just scared the crap out of me to even say. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on, on YouTube. Look, my titi just got me this ring for Mother's Day so I'm like showing it off, you know? <laughs> and I really had my nails done so. <laughs> Go visit our website at www.meclosemediagroup.com. I will be uploading some of the products that we create as well as keeping up with the vlog. If you're interested in purchasing or even just like connecting, yo, hit us. Hit us like ASAP, like right now. So do that. We will be in touch. We're going to do this more consistently at least once a week. We're pushing hard. We're pushing. Oh, me, we're going to start uploading all of the things that I did last summer that I didn't, that I didn't even upload. Like I went to Utah and I went to Key West and um, I did like some shoots in the mountains. Like that was really cool. Like you see the pictures but you didn't see the behind the scenes and there were plenty of behind the scenes so all right i'm done and thanks for following along okay bye